It's a difficult one this week, isn't it? Because we have to see them moving um, uh, rather than judge on a, on a fashion photo. So, I mean, we've seen more beaver this week than Peter Morris is likely to have seen in a lifetime. So, Alexandra. I think it was a pretty bad week for her, actually. Really? Yeah, I think she's probably unsafe. Right, she's well, still growing. Some of them have stopped growing, I think. Okay, Demalza. Um, I, I think that she's lazy, that she's one-dimensional, that she's not trying to do anything, and I think that she's incredibly not safe. She's a bored, evil beauty queen that just thinks that being pretty is enough to get her by. I don't think she's safe. Okay, guys, so let's move on to Sam. She was absolutely... She smashed it this week. Mm. Yep. Safe as houses. Okay, so Layden, she's sort of 50-50. I really thought this is setting a benchmark for Layden to now have enough confidence to just go forth with it all. But then she turns up here today and she's like, I'm shit, I can't do it, I'm no good. Excuses, excuses, excuses. And at halfway through the competition, that's enough. I've had enough. She can go home if she wants to because I'm not going to listen to that anymore. It's like Groundhog Day. You've got to go through that, no, you're really beautiful, honey, and you can do it and you have to do it. Like, it gets really tiresome. Okay, so Jamie, she really did incredibly well this week. She did. I mean, she's got to be careful not to just look like an FHM model, though. Yeah. FHM is a long way from what Jamie looks like. I think Jamie was beautifully Australian this week. You couldn't take your eyes off her in the commercial. She delivered the lines believingly. Yeah, I think FHM is a bit harsh. I yeah. think she's more, she's commercial line. Yeah. So, brings us to Alamella. Yeah, I mean, train wreck this week. Look, Alamella really is a great beauty, but unfortunately... I think she's a, a unique-looking woman. She's got the feminine side to a very elegant. She's far more sophisticated and poised than those other scrags. All right, so, Beck. This is the kind of girl that's always got the guy she wants to get. That's she's right. always been popular, yeah. right? And she doesn't have to do much about it. She thinks she's Turns hot. up here and she just expects Maybe it. Maybe she's just it's not understand. I mean, me. I agree. I've already won the crown. Uh, Beck's not, not good safe at all. for me. No, not week. at all. With all of that said, it comes to Carrot, who looks amazing and has been training every day yep, and yep. eating well, and it shows. Yeah, yep. full marks. Absolutely. She's made a big difference just week by week. Her body is changing, um, and she's committed to it. She's the one who looks like she's interested. Yep. She does. Yep. She's yep. definitely She's focused. my favourite this week. And Elise is another one. It's so gorgeous, but just oh, appears like that she doesn't picture. care. She's in that unsafe group. She was appalling. She's yeah, unsafe. Unsafe to me too. Okay, so that's it. Does everybody agree? Mm -hmm. Yes, Jody. Yes. Absolutely. All right, well, let's get the girls back in. Okay. The girl whose name I don't call out must leave the competition. Jamie. Well done, honey. Samantha. Alexandra Layden <laughs> Honey, that's what I'm talking about you need to stop that, sweetheart. You have such natural charisma that your self-doubt is crippling your chances. If you stop believing in yourself, then so will everyone else. Demalza. Rebecca. Elise and Alamella, can you please come forward? Elise, your energy is engaging and it can work in your favour, but we want to see you channel your excitement. It's not always appropriate and it can get a little annoying. You need more focus and less folly. Alamella, your poise and elegance sets you apart from the other girls. But the judges feel that there is too much control and not enough spontaneity. 
A model needs to be believable in a variety of situations. The judges aren't sure whether you're capable of this. The girl whose name I don't call out must make her way back to the house, pack your bags and leave the competition immediately. Police, congratulations. You're still in the running to become Australia's next top model. Thanks, Mum. Mella, Mella. Thank you so much for being such Thanks a pleasure. Thanks for your hard work. Thanks for having girl. me. You've worked really hard. Who's going to feed the fish? I'll feed them. Karen. <laughs> You could all take a leaf out of her book. <laughs> Bye, Alamella. See you, Alamella. forward to going home. <laughs> I made friends with a few people and didn't make friends with others. There are sure to be fights. 13 girls are stuck in one house. <laughs> My friends are the people who didn't have to talk about modelling 24-7 because when you're living in a show that's all about modelling, that's the last thing you want to talk about. week on Top Model Tuesday, the music's pumping, so it's time to bust their booties. But can you tell which, which one's, one's fake? She gets collagen injections. It's a tragedy what she has done. Look at it. What, what is that? And with the stakes raised... She looks like an international supermodel. I'll just go home and walk out. Beware of sabotage. That's like a whole meal of calories. I've got this feeling that you've stacked on a little bit of weight. Sweet, my pretties. They get better. Because the numbers aren't adding up. In my hand, I have only six tickets. All new Australia's Next Top Model, next Tuesday, 7.30. Exclusive to Fox 8.